For this piece mat I'm going to be using cutaway stabiliser, my 5x7 hoop, tape, I've got a whole rainbow of threads there, I've got cotton quarters batting, my fabrics cut to size and a nice sharp pair of fabric scissors. I'm going to start off by hooping my cutaway stabiliser. I'm now going to pop this into my machine and stitch round number one which is going to give me my outline. I'm now going to place my batting and my fabric over the outline. And I'm going to tape it in place so that it doesn't move during stitching. I now pop that in my machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure the fabric and the batting. When it stitched the um, fabric down it also gave me another placement line here. I've gone over it in chalk pen so that you can see it because it didn't actually show up where I'm using um, tone on tone um, thread for this part but I'm now going to place a centre fabric over the top of this middle outline and I'm going to tape it down. If you don't want to use a different fabric in the middle you don't have to, you can simply skip this round. So I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure the centre fabric. I'm going to remove the tape and I'm now going to trim up around the edge of this stitch line uh, close to it taking care not to cut it. Next I'm going to change my thread to green and I'm going to pop this back into my machine and stitch round number four and that's going to do around the finger area here. I've changed my thread to red and I, I, next I'm going to stitch round number five and that's going to do the satin stitch around the top of the heart here. Next is round number six and that's going to do the satin stitch halfway round the fingers on the left here. I've changed my thread to yellow and next I'm going to stitch round number seven and that's going to do round the top of the fingers here. I've changed my thread to blue and next I'm going to stitch round eight and that's going to stitch the thumb that comes around here. I've changed my thread to purple and I'm going to stitch round number nine which is the wording piece. If you don't want to do the wording then you can skip this round. We now come to adding the back. I'm going to take my sides down here just so they don't crease underneath the fabric. I'm going to do the same the other side here. Just keeps it nice and flat. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to start off by adding the first of my folded pieces and I've pressed them in the middle and I'm going to add my first one at the bottom, just lining it up with my fabric that's already there 
and I'm going to take that in place I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here. I'm now going to add my second piece and I want the fold towards the middle again and I'm lining it up in the same place up against the edge of my um, existing fabric and I'm going to take this in place as well. one thing you are going to want to do is tape down the sides here where the fabrics overlap because you've got a risk of your foot catching underneath as it stitches. I'm going to do that on both sides. And a little piece there. I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number 10. I've changed my thread to yellow to match my fabric. I'm going to remove all the tape. And now I'm going to free this from the hoop. Okay. And next I'm going to trim up around the outside of the stitch line. Take care not to cut the actual stitching. And I'm just going to snip around the curves of the heart just so that when I turn it out in the right way or should I say turn the backing over it sits nice and um, flat. Okay, I'm now going to turn this out the right way. I'm going to push into the seams. Remove that piece of tape. I'm going to give this a little press now, and there it is, all pressed our piece mat. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I do hope to see some of your makes on Creative Kiwi's Facebook group, so if you haven't joined already, pop over. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published, and thank you very much for joining me.